that number will be forever emblazoned in my mind. That's really special to know that no other player that comes through here will be able to wear it. It's just my lucky number. I've had it forever. It's close to my heart. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to my family, and I'm just so thankful that the coaches and the athletic department were able to do that for me. I know she was very teary-eyed about it, but we were too, her classmates, just to see how she's grown as a player and as a person over the last four years. It's amazing. It's just a great honor to be able to play with her. She was just so excited because I think that the team and the administration really recognized all her hard work. I mean, it's great when outside people recognize her and say she's doing a great job. And when people who are very close to you and see the hard work that you put in every single day recognize you for that, I think it means a lot more. So that's maybe part of the reason why she was so excited and so emotional about it. And then of course, we all got emotional. It was a little contagious with our class, but it was a very special experience. I guess it is kind of symbolic, hanging up my jersey and, and not being able to play here anymore, which is kind of sad. <laughs> it's bittersweet. I think that it's such an unusual situation to retire a jersey for an active player especially here at the academy with the storied athletic tradition they have here. So it's obviously quite an honor, but I just think very well deserved. She's obviously one of the best players in our program. She's made us better people and better players as well. I hope that they just remember someone who worked hard to be a good player, to inspire her teammates, to help her teammates develop their game, to do whatever the team needed to win, and was willing to sacrifice whatever it took to help the team win games. But more than that, just someone who was a good teammate on and off the court. Really cared about her coaches, her teammates, her classmates, everyone around her. She's such a competitor. You can see it in her eyes on the court too, the way that she wants to win. She's never going to go down without a fight. She remained who she was in loud other people to be who they were and I think that really allowed our team to be very cohesive and everybody to come into their own role. Her humble and honest personality and attitude and everything that she does, she's just great to be a representation of West Point and the Military Academy and I know she's going to do well as a leader in the Army too after this. Besides the numbers, the statistics, it's the way she's represented our program, represented the Academy, and represented the game of basketball for the Patriot League, for women's basketball in general. She's just such a selfless player. She's always deferring, always looking to make the extra pass. She takes a tremendous amount of pride in, in her assists and her ability to get her teammates the ball, but that's what has endeared her to her teammates. Just her ability to see the floor, and me as a post player too, it's great to have a guard that actually can see you and work with you, so we've been kind of a tandem duo since we were freshmen, and it's been a great experience to play with her. You couldn't imagine having a better teammate, someone who has handled all the, the attention and the accolades, and has done it with such dignity and grace. I still can't believe that no one's ever gonna be able to wear my number. That's pretty special to me. These last couple of opportunities I have to wear the number Number. It's sad, but it's also it's also exciting to know what has happened in these past almost four four seasons, and to know kind of what we accomplished both as a team and myself as an individual. She's been a real pleasure to coach, and I've been doing this a long time, and I've had some great players, but she's she's definitely the most special player I think I've ever coached. Love you guys.